everybody and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a really quick video for you guys just a really quick back to school video I know a lot of people have been asking me to make back to school videos and unfortunately I don't go to school anymore so I'm I'm kind of like out of practice that being said this is just my everyday makeup look in general but you could wear this to school you could wear it to work you could wear it anywhere so this is basically what I would do for a back to school look you just want to look decent but you don't want to look all completely dolled up but just something good lightweight easy simple goes with everything um, and what I love about this makeup look is that you can add or take away from whatever pair it with another lip color you can use another blush color you can um, add eyeshadow if you want to I don't wear eyeshadow on a regular day-to-day -day basis this is something that I would wear like this is something that I would actually get up and do every day and wouldn't feel like it's too burdensome on me and it would be great for college or high school whichever one because it looks pretty natural if you ask me and in addition to this makeup look, I'm going to be doing a huge $2,000 giveaway with some of my YouTube sisters. Cool thing is that we're all giving away our own separate prizes and you get to enter into each one. I will be putting everybody's channel links in the description box so you guys can check out everybody's channel and enter into their giveaway. All you have to do is enter into the giveaway using the form down in the description box. So I have a form that you just fill out and it enters you into the giveaway. You don't have to worry about posting, leaving a comment or anything like that um, and me trying to find you through that comment. The more giveaways you enter into, the more chances you have to win a back to school prize. So. I will be showing you guys what I'm going to give away at the end of this video, but first, let's get on to the makeup tutorial. So first I'm going to be using this LA Girl Smoothing Primer to smooth out any pores and make it very smooth for my foundation application. And I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and the Matte and Poreless Foundation by Maybelline and mixing those on the back of my hand. And I'm going to be applying both of those to my face at the same time. I'm using two because I like the color that it gives when I use both at the same time as opposed to just one. But both of these foundations are really good if you have oily skin and they're affordable. You can get them from Walmart, Target, anywhere where you can get drugstore items. And I'm just putting that all over. Next, I'm going to be using this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Brunette. I love this brow pencil because it is the exact same product as Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and it is half the price. So I'm just using that to fill in my brows very lightly. I'm not doing too much going too crazy just because it's an everyday look and I don't wanna have super, super strong brows, just something natural looking, and this brow pencil is perfect for that. So I'm just filling that in with the pencil side and then brushing it out with the spoolie side and I'm going to be very 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 lightly carving out any imperfections or um, any places where I messed up with my LA girl pro concealer and I'm using the color cool tan and this is my favorite concealer because it is so good it's creamy lasts all day it doesn't crease and if you have a little bit of growth coming in that concealer will cover that hair growth right up underneath your brow so I'm just I'm not even adding any product to the brush I'm just using whatever was left over and brushing that through and I'm going to be blending that out with my brush that I used to put, apply my foundation and now I'm going to very lightly highlight my face I'm not really doing too much highlighting and contouring so I'm just gonna highlight and um, you don't have to highlight if you don't want to, of course, but I am addicted to it and I can't help it. So I'm going to apply as much concealer as possible and then blend it all out with my Beauty Blender, which is damp, by the way. Do not use it dry because it doesn't really work if it's dry. And I'm just blending all of that out. Next, I'm taking my face powder, which is Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color 355. You can use whatever powder you prefer with a fluffy brush. And I'm going to be taking Milani's Romantic Rose Blush. I love this blush, it's so pretty and very natural looking. I'm going to be using that all over my cheeks just to give my face a little bit of color since I'm not going to contour. And next I'm going to take this Laura Geller Beautiful Gilded 
Honey Highlight. Oh my gosh, this is the most amazing highlighter. I love it so much. It is kind of pricey. It's like 20 bucks, 26 bucks at Ulta. Um, but I love it so much, I had to show you guys. And if you don't wanna highlight, you don't have to, but I just love to highlight. I'm also applying some mascara because mascara is what's really gonna open your eyes up and make you look wide awake. And I'm going to be applying my 902C by Wet n Wild lipstick. And on top of that, I'm taking my NYX Butter Gloss, Intense Butter Gloss in Tres Leches. Both of these products are my favorite go-to lip products right now. They're both very inexpensive and they last a very, very long time. And that is pretty much it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Super simple, right? And it was quick and easy. It took me about 10 minutes to do. So if you would like to see what I'm going to be giving away, be sure to stay tuned in three, two, one. So this is the backpack here that you will be winning. It is a nice Jan Sport mint blue color because I'm basic. I didn't know what print people would like so I just got something normal and classy and cute and I feel like mint blue is like the universal girl color of 2015. This is the majority of stuff. I still need to go get some tissue, beauty blender, and some paper because I mean I guess people need paper. Huh, you know? In, in this front pocket here I have Neutrogena makeup wipes. If you don't have makeup wipes you're dirty. I mean, I figured if I'm gonna get makeup, I might as well get makeup wipes because I do have some long lasting products in here. So I want you to be able to get that off. Some gum, because we all need gum, right? But this is birthday cake gum. I found it at Target. It's birthday cake gourmet gum. And it's sugar free, so you won't rot your teeth. An EOS balm here because I mean, who likes chapped lips? Not me. So when you raise your hand and be like, hey, I have the right answer, your lips will be popping. Here I got a selfie stick. If you're gonna be walking around on campus with your friends, or going to campus events, or like a baseball game, not baseball, who goes to baseball games? Football games, or you know, homecoming or something, you're gonna need a selfie stick to fit all of your friends in the picture. So here's a cool selfie stick. Some Afra palettes. This is a eyeshadow palette. They have a lot of fall colors in here. And I'm really feeling all of the fall colors. We have a blush palette, and these are pretty blushes. Um, nice fall colors as well. There's some brights in there too, just in case you're fancy. Some press-on nails, and these are actually stiletto nails. If you can't commit to going to the nail salon and getting your nails done, you can just have some press-on stiletto nails. I've got three LA Girl Pro concealers in assorted colors because, I mean, you need these in your life. And I use these in my tutorial. These are like my favorite drugstore concealer. Hopefully they work for whoever gets this. I don't know what shade you would be, so I got three colors just in case. If they're the wrong color, you can use them for contouring or highlighting or whatever, so that works out. So we've got an eyeshadow primer here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Liquid lipsticks here. And I love, 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 like I have two of the Afra liquid lipsticks and they're my favorite right now. I wear them all the time. So, figured why not give these away. They're really good quality. I got an intense butter gloss. I actually went to Target to go get some more of these and guys, they were sold out. Got a pink one and then I got two high voltage lipsticks. One in purple and one in red. So, I mean, just in case you've never tried bright color lipstick before, you gonna learn today. Some Royal Clown lashes and I love these lashes. So I have one pair of lashes here. They're very wispy. And they're great starter lashes, I think, because they're really easy to put on. Benefit, their real push-up liner, and in purple, so you can be fancy with pretty pop of color. You're also gonna get this mascara, the original, because it is amazing. Makes your lashes look super long. You got your liquid, another liquid liner here, but this one's in black, and this one is L'Oreal Infallible, and L'Oreal products are bay when it comes to black eyeliners. I like they're my favorite drugstore black eyeliners. Got a green tea detox mask, cucumber breeze, and aloe rescue mask. So, you know, when you're doing your homework and stuff, you can just sit there with a mask on your face and kill two birds with one stone. Got some socks in here from Living Royal because these socks have chicken and waffles on them. I thought that was so adorable. Who doesn't want chicken and waffle socks, guys? Who? Please tell me. We've got this really nice flat iron, and it is by Eva NYC. And it's 
in the color of Midnight Shimmer. So as you can see, it's got really pretty colorful glitter in it. Very, very nice flat iron. We've got some pins, the nice pins, not the janky ones that run out of ink really fast and break on you. No, these are the nice pins. So don't let everybody borrow your pins and then they don't give them back because these are the nice ones. Got some big old paper clips for your stacks of papers. If you have like essays or files that need to be filed. We've also got some smaller binder clips. Oh, they're really nice looking. I thought they were cute. And you can, I always used to use these because sometimes teachers don't like when you staple stuff together. So um, I used to use these to put papers together and things like that. Post-it notes because post-it notes make the world go round. You can use these for like everything and anything. They are just great for reminders. Stick them on the walls, stick them on your forehead, stick them on your feet, on your pants. I don't know. Just stick them anywhere. Cover somebody's car in them if you want to. Don't do that, that's vandalism. Some nice, sparkly, metallic Sharpies because I love metallic Sharpies. It just makes everything that you write look that much more cool. And if you ever leave your mark on anything, people know it was you because it's in metallic. I got a planner because planners are great, especially if you're a busy person, if you're in a lot of societies or organizations. It keeps you organized really nice. So you'll be styling and profiling and organized at the same time. Some folders, because these folders are really pretty, I'm not sure what you would use them for. They're really practical, so. We have a subject organizer. Um, not the cutest color, but I mean, hey, it does what it needs to do. It is an accordion folder, so you got sectionables here. I use these for like homework, for papers, for all those syllables, not syllables, syllabuses that your teachers give you that you don't read but you have to keep anyway. Be sure to fill out the form in the description box if you would like to win and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you in my next one. Bye! All my grades are That's because the same stuff I have is for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is so